Hey guys, it's your girl Daily with PhiladeliaEagles.com. I did want to check in because there's so much going on. Oh my gosh, it feels like just madness. Like it's been a crazy day, crazy week, crazy month. Um, I'm here chilling, finally getting some laundry done. That's that noise in the background. And I'm chilling with some cute, oh, <laughs> he just farted. That was hilarious. You probably couldn't hear it. It was a whisper fart, but... <laughs> Freaking Dakota, you be tripping over there. Look at him. Look at him. Um, anyways, okay. Um, so obviously kind of the biggest news to happen recently with our Eagles is Evan Mathis. Now, out of all the craziness that's happened this off season, dang, that, that kind of makes me nervous. Um, in that that's our O-line. And we have the most injury-prone quarterback looking to start for us this season. So that's, that's my only concern is, like, Bradford needs to be healthy. And with a depleted O-line, it makes me a little, more, a little bit more nervous. But, you know, again, with all the uncertainties and players we've lost this season, um... It's hard to let go, but something happens that makes us feel all right. And I don't know what that thing is going to be. Uh, and I'm not going to panic. Again, I try and just wait, wait, chip out, see what he's working with, see what he has planned. Because obviously he doesn't work by just doing one move. Cheers. Whoops. I ran out of space, so I got cut off. But what I was saying before I went to go get my beer after I ran a space is um, he doesn't work by just doing one move. Like he's a multiple steps kind of like has, now I'm burping because of this beer, um, has, has a plan um, and he's trying to set a tone, I think, within the Eagles uh, just mindset for the players, the organization that it's it's really his way or the highway and it's not this kind of dictatorship where it's just like you know what I say goes like I think he's really he wants it to be a community where everyone's on the same page now um, for some reason that didn't work out uh, on Mathis's end uh, I love the guy I'm very sad to see him go he was a player with personality with you know, he was a character. He he was witty. He was entertaining, smart, and he was a great player. So, obviously, it sucks to have so many players and to add him to the list gone. But, you know, I'm also excited because this is a completely new team. You know, this is... We have had been in the same place for a really long time with the same players. And we were stagnant. We weren't getting to where we needed to be so we're kind of like flipping flipping everything upside down inside out and honestly I don't know what to make of this season um now with you know us not having the depth the the top players protecting our quarterback that we had um it's it makes me want to maybe not be as hopeful for the season, but I'm still optimistic because we've seen so many times in the off season where people will overwrite, overlook, or, you know, disregard things and people are always proven wrong. So I'm not going to even try and speculate like that. So, um, I'm just here checking in. What are your thoughts on, I guess, Mathis on the state of the Eagles right now? Are you excited? Nervous? Um, I do need to do my updated predictions now. All right, you Cowboys fans and uh, people hitting up my predictions from the last time. Now, obviously, well, to some of you, it wasn't so obvious. I guess you didn't read between the lines, but I was totally joking with the Cowboys one. Uh, I made those predictions before the season even started, so it was just kind of poking fun and me being over the top ridiculous and uh, just making like a little storyline out of nothing. So, so I do need to update and do realistic, 
I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. Uh, prediction. So uh, I'm I'm probably gonna do that ne if not next week, the following week. So um, look out for that. Um, and that one you can take serious. Like the one that I did with the Cowboys, where I'm like, oh, you know, Romo's gonna hurt his pinky and blah blah blah. Like, come on, guys. Obviously, that's not real. So. <laughs> I just like to mess with you every now and then. And you know me, it's all playful. So I love you guys. Um, I am excited to see what happens. I, I just kind of, I'm I'm enjoying the ride. I'm, I'm buckled in, got my seatbelt on, and we are, we are kind of tossing, making those sharp turns, curves, U-turns, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I really don't know what to expect. And... That's kind of exciting, and it's also kind of scary. But um, if you check out my Twitter today, I just got my new Eagles wig in. And by Eagles wig, it's a Kelly Green uh, long hair wig. So if you want to see a photo, it's on my Twitter, at Philadelphia. Uh, and I might post it on Instagram tomorrow. We'll see. But until then, I hope you guys have a great night, great week, great whatever. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.